This video is about how to get golden doodles to like or at least be tolerant about being brushed because as we know brushing and combing doodle dog coats is a non-negotiable part of looking after these dogs. So whether you have a puppy or adult that won't let you brush them or as in my case recently when your dog suddenly relapses and gets uncooperative about being brushed today's video is for you because there is an easy way to remedy this. Hi, Joanna here along with Sophie. Welcome to My Golden Doodle Diary, the channel all about golden doodles or groodles. Consider subscribing if you like this kind of doggy content. When you say yes to owning a golden doodle, you are also saying yes to taking the time needed to brush and comb their coat on a regular basis. In that regard, they really are high maintenance dogs compared to short haired dog breeds. But even when you are willing to put in the time and effort to brush and comb your golden doodle, you may not necessarily have the cooperation you need from your dog. It's almost always a gradual process of getting them used to it. Yes, there are those angelic dogs out there which have always been happy to lie back and be groomed. You do get them sometimes. But in most cases, especially with puppies who make a game of everything and prefer to chew the brush, or others who try to run away and object to even slight pulling, such dogs need to be slowly accustomed to being groomed. So how do we go about doing this? My first recommendation is to start before they actually require brushing. When puppies are very young, they don't strictly need brushing because the coat isn't long enough to tangle yet. Similarly, in older puppies or dogs who are reluctant about being brushed, the ideal time to start getting them accustomed to it is after they've been clipped short enough so that they don't require proper brushing and combing. The idea is to give the dog positive associations with this activity and if there aren't any tangles to pull on or the need for a longer brushing session to get through, the dog will be much more relaxed about having a brush go over them if it's done super gently. Understandably, if there's a need to brush out some mats, the pulling is not going to get an uncooperative dog to enjoy being brushed. So the positive association means there's no downsides like pulling and you just talk to the dog with a calm voice. The way I did this with Sophie when she was a puppy is this. I'd approach her when she was resting, give her a few gentle pats and run the brush gently over the coat to mimic the patting. Then I'd pat her some more. I didn't do this with the aim of brushing correctly, by which I mean brushing properly to the skin. I treated this as a behavioural training exercise, not a brushing task to get done. So on that point as well, nothing had to be completed. I just gave her the experience of being brushed on the back, the legs, the paws, tail, chest, whatever I managed to do before she became too alert, playful or reluctant. It's how she got used to being brushed. Then eventually when her coat grew longer and the brushing became a bit more intensive, like when there really was a tangle to brush through, it got much easier and she was accepting. Incidentally, the underside and inside of the hind legs as well as the paws are the most sensitive parts for old dogs. So I'm always extra careful on those parts and I use the trimmer to cut away any bigger tangles. So that's puppies for you. But what about adult dogs? Let me tell you about what happened with Sophie. As I mentioned in an earlier video, Sophie has a tendency to be highly strung. She's gotten a whole lot better as she's matured, but that tendency is still there. What that means is occasionally positive behaviours I've taught her, like allowing herself to be brushed, get undone when she gets flustered. And that's exactly what happened recently. After Sophie's regular groomer moved away, I got Sophie clipped by a new groomer who did a great job with her. But for Sophie, it was a bit too much change all at once. Keep in mind too that unlike most doodles, I only have Sophie clipped about twice a year. So that clipping process is a rare occurrence for her. And it seems that the new groomer, the new environment, and the fact clipping inherently takes a while to do was too much change for her all at once. It appears there wasn't enough time for Sophie to get used to it all. And she got quite jumpy with the groomer and kept wanting to get away. 
Well, the coat clipping turned out really great in the end. But then a few days later, I noticed that when I tried to brush and comb Sophie like I normally do, she got all jumpy with me as well. She just wanted to wriggle away. At first I found it quite frustrating because she was like this for several days afterwards whenever I wanted to brush her in the usual way. Now I know she's a little miss sensitivity and I'm always gentle with her regardless. But it looks like getting through the normal routine, the same I've done hundreds of times before, just wasn't going to happen in the usual way. So then I took another approach to the situation by taking it right back to basics, exactly the way that I did when she was a puppy. So I approached her when she was resting, patted her a few times, ran the brush on her so gently that it wasn't even proper brushing and patted her again, purely as a training exercise, not to accomplish brushing. Her coat was too short to get matted anyway at that point and my task was to desensitise, not to do a proper brush and comb. So I didn't even do both sides, just ensured I got the parts that got her the most jumpy. I could tell she was on high alert, but she let me do it and I spoke quietly to her and kept the session short, only about two minutes long before she had the chance to wake up properly and start getting away. She only needed about three or four sessions like this before she was back to normal and she's completely fine with being brushed again. I'll also add that it did take longer to teach the first time around when she was a puppy. Regardless, it does take perseverance, however long it takes for each individual dog. So, so I hope that you found this video useful and once you've progressed with this part, you may want to see my other video about brushing and combing properly to avoid matting. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye.